Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakat Rash. Yahweh is the true, holy, and powerful name of Heavenly Father, Bahasham, meaning in the name. Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, and powerful name of His only begotten Son, who is the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting off with the elect within the nation of Israel. And Israel consists of you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, as well as your Israelite foreigners scattered abroad that may look like the nations where you've been scattered to, but are Israelites. And I also want to give them honors to the elders and apostles of great mills, so I'm going to rule well, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing out this word in all sincerity and in truth. All right, this is the brother you call from the GMS branch out of Des Moines, Iowa, coming back at you with another lesson inspired by the Holy Spirit, Harvard Kakurash. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, it's just on my spirit to speak about this topic. All right, you know, uh, which <laughs> gets under a lot of women's skin, um, but, you know, to the sincere, you know, women that believe and that listen to these lessons, uh, you know, and uh, sisters that, you know, may uh, be with uh, brothers and eventually will be with brothers, all right? Uh, the reality of it is that, you know, men are going to have multiple women, all right? And you're, you're faced with two options, okay? Either get over it or get left behind. And that's just the reality of it. It's no, it, it ain't no, you know, it ain't rocket science, all right? And, you know, uh, the, the scriptures, you know, prophecy is going to come to pass, all right? In the book of Isaiah 4, 1, it says, Seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We'll eat our own bread, wear our own apparel, but only let us be called by thy name, all right? That man, all right, that servant, you know, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is the prize. He's going to be made more precious than fine gold. And the Lord is going to use him as an avenue, all right, for the deliverance, okay? of hopefully you know yourself all right that may be joined to that man and other women all right and that's just the reality of there's going to be women that are slated to be delivered through that man all right that you're with okay and that's just once again that's just the reality of it throughout our history our you know men have always had multiple women all right uh it was, uh, wasn't a problem with the uh, even the lord had said uh when king david committed adultery you know uh, the Lord had told uh, King David through Nathan, he was like, look, if you wanted more women, I could have gave you more women. <laughs> like, that wasn't nothing. All right, but you won't go and commit adultery with another man's wife. Like, I could have just gave you another piece. Even Deborah, all right? People like to, you know, quote Deborah, right? You know, and uh, even Deborah, you know, she said in her song, all right, uh, she said, let a, uh, let a man take uh, uh, him a, a maid or two, <laughs> okay? So even the woman, you know, women understood that men had, you know, multiple wives, all right? And that's not your say-so, and you have no jurisdiction over who that man lays with, all right? That's not your place, all right? Who he decides to have coming to himself. And once again, you know, um, you're going to be faced with the option of either you're going to find a way to give it over your emotions, all right? And in reality, you know, when um, all hell breaks loose, when uh, shit hits the fan, all right, there's a lot of fear around. You know, um, you're going to, you're going to, that reality is going to seep in. See, it's one thing saying that, you know, you know, you've got two options, uh, either to, uh, to get with the program or get lost or, or get left behind. All right. But you don't have a sense of danger. All right. These women don't really have a sense of danger or fear that, you know, how they treat their men is going to be detrimental to their salvation. All right. Or, or how they, uh, you know, speak to a man or whatever the case may be. They don't have that sense of fear because it's not all around them. There's still the comfort of this society. It hasn't broken down and collapsed completely yet. All right, but when that settles in, all right, all those different emotions and everything like that, you know, these women are gonna find a way to put all that shit <laughs> uh, under subjection, all right? Because of what? Them desiring salvation and them seeing that you're the only way out and they don't see that right now, right? So when that happens, they're gonna have to get with that program. And if there's any woman that has an issue with it or doesn't like it or, you know, whatever the case it may be, she's gonna be left out, left out there on their own, all right? <clears throat> so that's just, you know, that's just the reality of it. And as far as, you know, uh, the, you know, sisters that may be, you know, listening and believing, all right, uh, this, the, this word is about becoming a new creature, all right? So, you know, the old creature, all right, the way that you were raised in this society and put on this pedestal and, you know, you felt like, you know, you had to, um, um, uh, you are used to men. Okay, well, <laughs> well, let me just put it like this, all right? Uh, there's an expectation, you know, that, you know, that man is only going to be about you and all about you and worshiping you and serving you and bending to your every, every need and every want and every emotion and, 
everything like that like uh, the spirit has been breaking out of that spirit all right because as a man we are supposed to be just bending to your emotions all right we are supposed to just be you know you're supposed to be submitting unto us all right the woman the woman was created for the man not the man for the woman all right so just to put things in perspective because you know sometimes when you you know you look at things in, in your particular situation it's hard to really you know separate your own emotions so put it like this all right the relationship you know that um Yahweh Shah has with his men all right is the same as the relationship that the man has with you right Yahweh Shah is our salvation okay and that's just what it is right he is our salvation and that's why the scripture says let the wise be under subjection to their own husbands as unto the Lord right because that is your Lord even the scriptures talk about how the holy woman uh uh holy women how they call their man lord so they understood their position they understood their role they understood that they were a help me all right but they understood that that man was their salvation their deliverance all right their hedge their protection okay so going back to the relationship that we have with yahweh shai all right when yahweh shai says certain things all right he wants us out in the highways and byways we out in the highways and byways all right it ain't no i woke up and i don't feel like going on a saturday and I just don't want to do it or this and that and the third. Nah, we submit fully to the will of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. All right. F submitting fully to the will of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. All right. The Lord wants us wearing garments with the fringes on when we're out there teaching and we're wearing the garments with the fringes. We don't care what nobody thinks about it. All right. We didn't, it didn't matter how we might have thought about it. Look, that's what he wants. That's what we're doing. All right. We're being conformed to the image of Yahweh Shai. We're doing what he wants. Right. And that's the same thing, you know, with the woman. Now, if we say in our heart that, you know, I don't like, you know, I don't like the way Yahweh Shai, I don't want to wear what he wants me to wear. I don't want to do what he wants me to do or I only want to do it on my own time and everything like that. Well, then what happens? OK, well, if we don't want to submit, I'm gonna, well, I'm going to use a, a, a harsh scripture, all right, Luke 19 and 27, that says, those my enemies that would not that I should reign over them, meaning they don't want to submit, they, they're they disagreeance with this Bible, they're in their disagreeance with Yahweh Shai, and, you know, this and that, and the third, it says, bring them hither and slay them before me, all right, because those different individuals that are rebelling against Yahweh Shai, all right, they're his enemies, okay, all right, so if we want deliverance, all right, we have to have the mentality of, Look, we're following the lamb with us wherever he goes, all right? And we have an understanding that that's why the scripture says, um, that's why the scripture says in the book of um, Corinthians, I believe, it says, through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, all right? It says it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the, the living power, right? So we actually fear Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Now, when you go into the word reverence, because the scriptures talk about how the wives should reverence their husbands, right? Uh, that word reverence goes into a godly fear. And it's the fear that knowing that, look, if I'm not, all right, if I'm not aligning myself, all right, uh, uh, with my husband, all right, if I'm not aligning myself, okay, with my husband, then the Lord will bring judgment upon me, okay? The Heavenly Father, He will judge me, okay? And if I don't want to be judged, and if I want to actually be delivered and protected in these times to come, well, then I'm going to have to submit. I'm going to have to find a way to get over my emotions, all right? I'm going to make it happen. And one thing about it, once again, see, these things may be difficult now. All right. But when shit is happening, they're going to find a way to get over all of that. OK, the woman that's acting like my man ain't going this and that and the third. If she really wants deliverance, when that time comes, she's going to find a way to get over her emotions for her to be delivered. All right. You know, she's going to make that that way happen. And you don't have to explain this and then the third. It's like, look, this is what it is. And, you know, you're going to know your other option, your only way out. OK. Want to be in an argument and disagreeing and rebelling and this and that and the third? Well, all right, you, you can do all of that on your own out there in martial law, in the famine, in the pestilence, right? On your own, okay? You can go through Jacob's trouble, all right, on your own. And that's the reality that we're coming into because that's the same reality that we're faced with. And that's where I wanted to bring out, you know, uh, that, that precept, that Luke 19 and 27, all right, because that's the reality that we're faced with, man. All right, if we don't want to submit, all right, we can become an enemy to Yahweh Shai. And the scriptures talk about our woman being our enemy in the book of Micah, the seventh chapter. All right, it says, uh, she that is mine enemy shall see it and shame shall cover her and she shall be trodden down as the mire of the streets. All right, see, this society is uh, really, you know, um, uh, uh, made it, you know, to where, you know, women think they're untouchable. All right, that, you know, they can't be 
you know, nah, all right? You know, we're coming into the times where it's gonna be very gruesome and harsh judgments from Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shai, and you, you know, you women are gonna recognize that you're gonna be held accountable for your actions, for your deeds, all right? These women walking around thinking they all cute, hoeing around, all right? You're gonna get severely uh, judged, man, okay? You're not gonna escape. The sinner is not gonna escape unpunished. That's why the scripture says in the book of Sirach, it says, let the, the portion of a sinner fall upon her. You're going to get the, the, the wrath of the Lord. Okay. All these women that don't, don't, that's, you know, out here. All right. Uh, <laughs> acting a fool. Okay. They're going to experience severe wrath from the Lord and the Lord ain't going to deliver them out of them. Okay. The Lord ain't going to grant, grant them men of the Lord. Nah, it's, it's, it's women out here, just like men out here that the Lord is like, nah, fuck that. They got to be destroyed. Okay. And they aren't going to get the luxury of coming across a man of the Lord. And, you know, and if they do, all right, the spirit's going to be on that man at that time to reject that woman. All right. <laughs> okay. You know, in this society, you know, women think they really can't get it rejected and everything like that. Like, look, you're dealing with the Lord and the spirit of the, the spirit of the Lord is upon his men. And a lot of these women are going to get rejected, man. All right. And being rejected is them out there uh, being in the streets. All right. You know. Out, out here to who knows what, man. Going through all types of judgment, all right? Experiencing, you know, once again, that wrath that you how about Shimmy out with shot, man. All right, so this is a grim reality that you're going to have to be faced with, okay? Because you will get touched, okay? The Lord will visit every, the, uh, the wickedness of everybody upon them, man. All right, the majority of these women are murderers, all right? Deleting baby after baby. They speak so proudly, right? You know? And the Lord, the Lord gonna swoop, the, the Lord gonna sweep through these hoes, man. All right, but to you know, a sincere, sincere uh, woman that are listening. All right, hey, fight to put them, them feelings and emotions under subjection. Okay, just like the men have to, we have to fight to put our feelings and our uh, uh, emotions under subjection. There's things in the scriptures that you know may be uncomfortable and everything like that, but we're submitting. All right, we're doing the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, the scripture says, if, if any man uh, comes after me and follows me, they must deny themselves. That word deny means to, to lose sight of one's own self-interest. All right, so you have to lose sight of everything. It ain't about you, all right? It's not about you, all right? The scripture says in the book of Genesis, the third chapter, that the woman's desire should be towards her husband, all right? Your purpose is to serve and please your man, all right? To be a help me unto him. All right, our purpose as men is to serve and fear Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, that's just what it is. That's our role, and we have to play that role. It's not about us. Yes, we will be rewarded, just like the woman. She will be rewarded. All right, those women that stood hold uh, the uh, uh, Noah's all right wife. Okay, she received the benefits of the labor that Noah was putting in. Okay, she was able to uh, benefit from that. All right. You're going to be able to benefit from the labor and the work that, you know, that, uh, that, you know, that man has done and that he has. All right. But you're not just going to skate into the kingdom just thinking you're just going to be a demon and disobedient. And you still the old, the, the old, the old creature is not making it into the kingdom. All right. That's just plain. Okay. You're not exempt from that. You have to become a new creature. You have to become a new creature. And if you aren't becoming a new creature, all right, if you're thinking like a westernized woman, all right, your ass is going to get destroyed. That's just plain and simple. All right, if you want to, you know, you want to wear the pants and, you know, you think you got to say so and this and that and the third and you don't want to submit and everything's an issue and your husband's telling you this and that and the third, it's always a rebellion. Like, look, the Lord is just going to replace you just like he can do and he has done with men that had an issue with the way that things were being ordered and done within his body. All right. Men that don't want to take heed to the program, they don't want to listen what happens. They get removed and they get replaced, all right? So this is a privilege and an opportunity, all right? Even to have the privilege of understanding us coming back to who we are, all right, and being able to have the belief in these words, like, no, I believe these things are going to happen. That's a gift, the gift of faith, all right? For the Lord to put this within us and give us time to transform ourselves, our mind, our, and, and, and recognize what pleases him and you know, be molded to that. That's a privilege and that's a gift. Okay. And to be with a man of the Lord, that is a extreme, that man, that is the greatest honor and gift that a woman can have. All right. Whether you recognize that or not for you to be with a man of the Lord, that is the greatest gift that you'll receive. 
all right because through that man you can receive salvation you can receive deliverance all right that is the greatest gift that you can have and you have women that are with men of the lord right now that are acting all crazy they're gonna get they're gonna get destroyed all right a lot of these women man hey the lord the lord you know they they still around right now but the lord waiting for that 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 time to bring judgment upon them all right uh, like the scriptures talk about with antiochus that the judgment of the lord now following them there's certain women that have offended, you know, to the point to where the Lord, like, yeah, nah, we just gonna move that bitch out the way in due, in due time. All right, she's doing the most, she's doing too much, and she's unrepenting, all right, or it's fake repentance and everything like that. Like, look, the Lord ain't playing with none of that. He ain't playing with none of his men, and he ain't playing with your woman, okay? <laughs> well, this ain't, we, we gotta give you the, 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 the what they say, the, the, the skinny, the straight skinny. All right, these other camps are still pacifying these women. They all want to come aboard talking shit. Nah, you need to shut the fuck up. Like the scriptures tell you to do. And if you have a problem with that or you have a problem with how we say it and everything like that, well, that's what I'm talking about, okay? You have to become a new creature, okay? All right, the Lord was stern, all right? And his men are stern. And some men are not as stern as others, all right? But that doesn't take away from you having, having to be in your role and, 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 and taking heed and listening, all right, being quiet, right we don't tolerate all that stuff on the comment board all right and all these silly women that's following these other groups they're gonna get destroyed with their head wraps all right because they are becoming a new creature you got women with head wraps all right and fringes on their dress all right but don't know how to do what the fuck that man says all right your man is literally in front of you telling you to do x y and z all right and you're not doing it okay and you think that you're just gonna skate into the kingdom all right so these are different things that you know, if you're sincere and believing, you have to become a new creature, you know? But I just wanted to touch on that through the spirit. I'm not going to prolong it. I actually had a whole entire other lesson. You know, Lord's will, I can get to do it uh, right after this. So, um, and uh, hit this gym, man. But uh, Lord's will, that was edifying, man. And um, take heed, all right? Take heed, all right? Because you have to get out of that mindset as if you can't get judged and the Lord won't touch you, all right? Disobedience, all right? Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, usurping authority over the man, right? You know, all these different things, it comes it comes with a judgment, okay? It comes with a judgment. And the, and the Lord ain't having to respect the persons, man, especially over no female. Read, read about uh, Miriam, okay? You know? Read about read about Miriam, man. All right, you get out of pocket, you get dealt with, you know? So having that being said, Lord's will, that was that a fun? Through uh, by Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, I'm going to uh, give all praises to Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rekakwadash, the honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing out this word in all sincerity and the truth. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.